right I didn't record it at the beginning what I'm climbing up too busy looking at other things I'm climbing Mount Walsh today anyway so it's gonna be 35 degrees here hopefully the breeze is gonna be good at the top this is the start of the trail dry rainforest um, trying to find the three pinnacles but I didn't download a map so I'm gonna find that on the way down I've decided to veer off um, I'm going up this hill here to try and get to the pinnacles don't know whether I should take this or go down here I'm gonna chance this one coming across here and up there I've decided to follow this gully it runs alongside the ridge that I'm trying to climb so at the point where it gets steep I just exit to the right and go up the ridge but right now I reckon this would be faster than trying to walk through the grass I think I should explain what I'm doing here I made my own map for getting up Mount Walsh because there's another adventure I want to get to when I get up the top um, I couldn't find the trail to the three pinnacles and yeah I wasn't thinking well enough and so I haven't I can't find a downloadable map right now so I've improvised and found this here to get up it's cool at the moment so that's one good thing about this but it's near the end and I'm gonna have to exit so there's probably a what would be a waterfall when there's water very close to here but I feel like I've got to exit sometime so I'm going through here into the grass apparently I'm not far from the ridge line to start climbing and probably find the footpath to get up to the three pinnacles got a little view out of the trees here interesting but one thing I want to point out I've never seen this before a grevillea moonlight in nature not in the gardens there's a faint footpad here I don't know where it comes from could be just as well be wallabies trying to get up here I'm just trying to get to the spur if I go hard left I'll hit a big wall so I've got to go this bit sideways there's the spur just up there on top here I am on the spur I've got to get up there somehow so I'm just trying to find a foot pad to get up there big climb in some places there might be a little gully to the right this is starting to remind me of my latest hardcore adventure short leaning ridge puffed I went this way it's a bit quicker and it will get me up here somewhere now I've got to turn left man I'm puffed really quickly not enough sleep last night first good view is oh by the way that was my first sign that I'm on the path going to the three pinnacles so I follow this here just up five meters higher look at this view here I am on top of my first pinnacle got a scope out which is Mount Walsh possibly to the left hope I don't have to do all three to get to Mount Walsh I see a way up Mount Walsh there I found a faint footpath down the hill and actually I can see it going up that next rock there 
That's Mount Walsh up there. Interesting. And I found in the wild this bottle brush. Sort of yellowy colour. Let's get closer. Pretty much up the top of this pinnacle here. It was so quick from there. Easy to get through, follow this up and go through the middle here. On to the next one, I'd say. Now I'm on top of the second pinnacle. I'm gonna make my way up this one and then somehow down there. Somewhere down here. Third pinnacle. So the foot pad. Here's the two I previously climbed. I've got from this viewpoint looking like that would be the entrance there to where I've got to get up. It's impassable. Came around here a bit and look what I found the way up. So here I'm going. This is the highest part of the third pinnacle. So the highest pinnacle. I don't think there's a way up there. And I've got to get my way across down there, up there. To the top of Mount Walsh. It's quite steep getting out of pinnacle three. You've got to squeeze under this rock here. On top it's a big slab and you think it's not possible. But you just get under that and there's foot holds everywhere on the way down. It gets steep here, but you can see it's not unmanageable. So I'm heading down this way. It's been steep all the way, but there's always something to grab hold of. And I'm, say, three quarters of the way down. That's the steep bit that I've got left. The hill's in front of yeah, that's the steep bit I've got left. I think I got a bit lost. And this is my way out. It's really steep. And then coming up here, I'm sure I'm pretty much about 20 metres below the track. So it's safer from here on. So I can film a little gap there. Finally got on the Harry Frauke track. Looks like I'm close, but I'm not sure until I actually get there. Yeah, I don't think I can see anymore. glory the top of Mount Walsh
I'm just on the Harry Fralka track now to get down quickly. This is the view on that track going to the south. Here's a different view. Those uh, white grevilleas are everywhere. Interesting. <laughs>